This new feature 2024 tutorial video will teach you how to use data automation. In Fuser 2024, you now have a faster workflow to add custom BIM parameters to 3D models. The first objective of this video is to use section cut to separate the building into four floors, and the second objective is to add a level parameter to the four floors. For the first objective, go to More Options and search for Section Cut. For Enable Section, click On, then for Type, click Plane. First, we want to only show the ground floor, so click Plane 1 and Cut until here. Left mouse click. Next is to click Flip to show the other half. Then click Plane 2 and we want to show the first floor only. Then click Flip again to show the other half. Click Plane 3 and show the second floor only. When you click Flip, the third floor only will show. Now for the second objective, Go to More Options and search for Data Automation. This is a new app in Fuser 2024. Then go back to Section Cut. And to go back to Plane 1, click each plane, then flip. Let's select from left to right, which means the object needs to be inside the box. And the label is Level. Value is Ground Floor. Click Apply. And now it's here under Element Properties and here under Object Description, Level, Ground Floor. You can click the pen to edit again or click X to delete. Then click Flip to show the second floor. Then we can use Box Selection again. Label is Level. Value is First Floor. 1F. Click Apply and you will see it here again. Then click Plane 2. Click Flip. Do the same for the other levels. Use Box Selection. Label is Level. Value is 2F. Click Apply. Then it is here. Then click Plane 3. Click Flip. Now it shows the last floor. Use Box Selection. Label is Level. Value is 3F. Then click Apply and you will see it here. Now when we turn off the section cut, when you click an object, it will show which level it belongs to. So this is first floor, second floor, and third floor. Thank you for watching the video.